Hello, I am Namjae Jung. I working for Samsung Electronic. After announcing KSM session as Samba XP 2019, I have been here again after two years. In in the meantime, KSMD has made a lot of progress and trying to be currently upstreaming to the news main line. Today, I would like to talk about what we have been working on and update the current status and plan. Topic R as follow. First of all, for those who don't know what KSMD is, I'm going to start with a short overview of KSMD first. Uh, KSMD is a new kernel module which implemented the server side of SMB3 protocol. The target is to provide optimized performance and GPL version 2 SMB server and better lead handling. The bigger goal is to add the add new future more rapidly, for example, RDMA, which are easier to develop develop on a smaller, more tightly, tightly optimized kernel server. KSMD is very optimal for embedded device product and open source project. Especially, KSMD is, is suitable for target, which tend to have a small flash size. The target device of OpenWRT and GDWRT open source project has uh, eight or 16 60 megabyte ROM size. So they use very low Samba 3.x version, which means supported SMB protocol is SM version one. When replacing it with KSMD, they are saying KSMD is showing better performance and low CPU usage by using SMB3. And no need to special handling for cross compile and so just select KSMD in KSMD in menu config of corner. This is again a newly major performance comparison data between the current current latest KSMD and the latest Samba. This is the result of 4K read write performance between Samba and KSMD major using IO zone. Opera was disabled to remove cast hit performance. So single thread test results show almost 30% uh, performance difference in read write performance and almost 20% performance difference in multi thread. File OP is a benchmark that measures how many file operations can be performed per second. In comparison of Samba and KSMD performance, it showed a difference in, uh, in performance greater than IO zone. The result of previous page showed the result of testing between the Linux client and and Linux server. This is this is the result of performance measure through through Windows client using Crystal Disk Max benchmark tool. This is, this result also showed a performance difference between almost ten percent or twenty percent compared to Samba. Uh, in Samba XP. 2019 presentation, we used the name k 6 d but we renamed, we renamed it to KSMBD. We know that SIFS mean SM version 1 and vulnerable and old fashion. So the model for kernel server is renamed to KSMDKO and function and structure prefix are changed to KSMD, KSMBD to avoid confusion with the older SIPS protocol. And the K in the KSMBD allowed us to distinguish the kernel SMB server from the user space Samba file server. And 
user space demo name also renamed from UC3 to KSMD Mount D. But in, in the case of directory name in corner source, we made we made CFCD directory to align, align with the existing CIPS client. We will create we will create the CIPS common directory, likely NFS common directory, after up, upstream. And so the code shared with the CIPS client will be moved to the, will be moved to there. From now, I will introduce a new feature added to KSMD since uh, Samba XP 2019. Currently, SMB is using large request re response buffer as a default. The default maximum read write, read write trans size of KSMD is 4 megabytes, and Samba seems to be 8 megabytes, which is larger than that. Repeating, repeating big allocation and free of this large buffer for each operation would be big overhead. We should use VMLOC to allocate large size buffer in corner, but, but VMLOC allocation is expensive and, and not fast, especially when there is a lack, lack of the available memory it can be more slower because uh, women look will have to do direct reclaim swap out, which which also can increase increase memory fragmentation. So high order KML allocation may fail more frequently. So we introduce a buffer cache pool. So so in, so instead of putting pressure from large buffer allocation for every response and release it at the end of request processing. So, so we will cache those, those large buffer up to number of online CPU for size, size class. It will make a fast allocation and avoid, avoid the potential allocation pain. Samba team commented that KSMD need, need, needed ACL and cover support. So we have added them recently. For us to support ACS, it is, uh, it is enough to have KSMD run as standalone server, not domain member. First of all, to create own domain security ID, KSMD mount D generate random sub host value. And then I know the UID GID will be used used as RID in in SID. Then cache and mount D store it it into into the disk for permanent SID after rebooting. And cache and mount D will use SI, SID from disk on on next execution. Currently. KSMD ACL implementation is only DHL available now. And we are aware that SHL support has recently been added to uh, SIPS client. We will also start working at SHL support, support, which is currently supported in SIPS client. KSMD did the translation code between POGIX ACL and NT ACL. Translation of KSMD is leopard with SIPS client code. For example, is generic read and file read related flag in access mask will be mapped to Unix read permission. Samba encoded NT ACL with NDR format before writing into the disk. KSMD also add NDR encode and decode function to compatible with Samba. And new user permission can be stored through Windows client. So we added SAM remote and LSA RPC protocol support to store ACL for registered other user from Windows. 
We have added Kerberos as well as NTLS version 2 for user authentication. It is not, it is not, it is not easy to implement Kerberos authentication in kernel because uh, library of sense in kernel. There is a user space Kerberos library which is used, used for several open source, libsmv 2 and SIPs and NFS. So we have also implemented Kerberos authentication user, uh, user space Kerberos library in CASMD mount D. CASMD kernel thread just transmit Kerberos message from client to CASMD mount D. KSMD mount D process covers token using covers library. The X attribute to metadata format stored by Samba was not compatible with KSMD. When user using KSMD change to Samba, the X attribute to metadata format is not compatible with the existing file in KSMD share. So incorrect, incorrect file information can be used. To, pr to prevent this, the, comp the compatibility of X-attribute X metadata information between two server is requi required. Stefan and Jeremy requested to make it compatible with Samba. So we decided to make Samba X-attribute X metadata format and Use, use those attributes to version 3 and version 4 structure and NTHA structure defined in the Samba source header. SMB 3.3.1.1 project extension supported only projects, projects negotiation contest and would be in KSMDB4. We catch up projects extension work from kernel ships client. For example, uh, projects query info and FS projects information for stat FS and projects query DIR. And also add double SL repass tag support for special pi. Uh, little minute. <clears throat> ah, sorry, yeah. KSMD encryption performance can be improved with hardware acceleration on the kernel. If your CPU support, support ASNI, it will already be enabled and automatically in smooth module in your Linux dis distribution. If you are manually build kernel, just enable ASNI module in kernel. GCM seems to be faster than GCM, but GCM performance with AC, A, ASNI is more better than performance than GCM. So Windows prefer GCM over GCM. GCM encryption of KSMD is, is supported with ASNI and user can use better performance with KSMD on data encryption, data encryption connection. SMB Direct is a new transport protocol for supporting SMB over RDMA. It is uh, introduced in SMB versions, SMB version 3 and implemented in Windows Server 2012. SMB Direct operate, operate over reliable RDMA transport such as Infinite Band and Rocky and IWAP. SMB Direct use RDMA send receive operation for SM, SMB exchange, which is the datagram type send receive. So people SMB, people SMB exchange Client and server have to negotiate for the maximum size of buffer and how many empty buffer they have. The data is managed by credit management. And if, 
if SM message is uh, larger than the size of buffer, the message have to be segmented into SM direct message and disabled. File data is not included, included in SM message. Client, client send SM request with memory location, which is store write data or, or will be store read data. Server use RDME read write operation to, trans, to transfer data between, between our client memory and server memory. Uh, current implementation can only connect to the, to the RIMS kernel ship's client. SM3 multi channel supported is required to connect to, connect to window client. So we are working on SMB3 multi-channel work on higher priority. CIPCD built-in test automation, there are several CIs, but we chose a Travis CI because it is possible to integrate with the GitHub. By using Travis CI, we can automatically test the patch in pull request. Test consists of all build, build test and stability test. Travis CI will do build test with the 5.4 kernel and the latest Linux tree. Then the Travis CI run XF test and SME torture test case to check to check the stability issue in new patch. Test automation let we find the bug in full request in advance. After resolving them, the patch will be merged into KSMD3 to keep it as stable as possible. Testing through Travis CI cannot be tested using the latest kernel. Only fixed kernel version provided by Travis CI are available. We can test the buildable test managed by Stephanie with the latest kernel. And then we can show public test result through the build mode website. With the latest kernel, we have run more except tests that, that have been fixed or supported in the latest code. We have confirmed that XF test, test 120 tests via buildboard are passed in current KSMD3. This buildboard test of KSMD is supported by Steve, Steve French for KSMD upstream. Through, through this, we have been finding the issue of occurring, the, occurring in the latest commit before feeding them in the, feeding them to the turbines. We have posted KSMD patch series to LKMN. We exclude vulnerable SM version one code from KSMD for mainline version. And getting a lot of review comment and pat, patch from high profile kernel developer. And there is a big change from review. We, we replace on ASA1 decoder with a generic, generic one in Linux kernel. We have added a to do of KSMD and FS interval in document request by Amir. He list he a future for KSMD and FS, and FSD interval. And he said, he said, KSMD is, is in a position to do better job. We only have two in, iterations out of the list and waiting for getting more review from them. So we are expecting to merge in, it into uh, Linux 5.14 merge window after getting more review for another two months. There are a lot of features that needed, needed to be implemented in KSMD, but here is a plan to what to do this year. 
First of, first of all, we plan to support SME multi-channel future. It is an important future, not only for performance improvement through multi-port NIC, but also for SME, SME Direct through Windows client. After, on, after upstream, we can change the FS notify function uh, as export symbol function, which is needed for SMB2 notify implementation. In turn, this version this 2 durable handle will also be planned to implement implemented this year. There are a share code between there are a share code between SIPS and CASMD. They will be moved to SIPS common directory. And then we will add CASMD status option to CASMD controller util so that we can show uh, various information of running CASMD server. Uh, we we believe that more developers will join uh, KSMD developments after merging into the Linux mainline. It is uh, expected that development of KSMD will be able to progress, progress faster. And I believe that we can create a different solution with the present, with the present through the collaboration between Samba and KSMD. Thank you for listening my session. If you have a question, please tell me. Hey, this is Tom Talpe. Thanks, um, really interesting. Um, I had one question that surprised me earlier when you said that you were caching, well, that you were allocating four megabyte uh, buffers and that you yeah. were caching them. Um, how many of them do you cache? And is that really OK with the kernel developers? That's a really big buffer to, to cache aggressively. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, so we, we, uh, we, uh, KSMD will cache it uh, the the uh, buffer is number uh, up to number of online CPU for size class. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, one per CPU, you said? Yeah, 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 yeah no, number of online CPU. And and just one per online CPU core? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I guess that's not so big. Anyway, I'm I'm thrilled to see you supporting um, SMB Direct. I think that's great. Even if uh, you have to do more work to get the Windows client to connect to you, that's great. Yeah. So you um, need more than you oh. need more than multi-channel support, right? You need um, you need to be able to uh, rebind session handles, things like that. Uh, sorry. Well, so, you, multi channel support is needed, but you need to support the session binding operation. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so, yeah. 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 So, so needed to multi channel. So, for uh, SMB Direct through Windows client. Yeah. Right. Hi, uh, Namji. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, Hi. great. It's Jeremy again. Yeah. Hi, great talk, by the way, really enjoyed it. Um, so I haven't had a chance to look at the code carefully, I'm afraid. Uh, I was wondering when you are implementing the NDR encoding, is this uh, a library that you've imported or is this code that you've written yourself to do the NDR stuff? Yeah, so uh, yeah, I don't use, uh, uh, I don't use li uh, NDR library, so. Uh, I, I I create a simple NDR encode or decode function in in the uh, KSMD, yeah, source code, yeah. A simple NDR encode or decode function, yeah. Okay. 
Namjay? Yeah. Hi, it's Amir. Hi. Hi how are you? How are you? Uh, ah, Amir, yeah, hi. hi. Um, my question is, uh, and I think you probably written it somewhere in some places, uh, this, uh, the KSMBD is being used in production, is that correct? Can you say uh, in which uh, product it is being used? I think it, it can help you in the upstream effort uh, to say that some customers use it and need it. Uh, yeah. So uh, KSMD used for our, our product. Some for example is uh, 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 some whiteboard. Yeah, there there is a Samsung whiteboard product. Yeah, so so when 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 writing some uh, uh, I, uh, when some writing some uh, whiteboard and we, we we can write to we can make it. The PDF file and some some app, uh, uh, every uh, student can access uh, whiteboard using SM protocol SM protocol. So case so our whiteboard sh uh, 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 share uh, whiteboard share using KSMD. Whiteboard share of, of which product is it? The product that's out there commercially available and around the world and I'm, I'm just not uh, familiar yeah uh, yeah in, in case of some uh, some class some student uh, student uh, school class some teacher will writing some uh, some uh, take taking a class and writing the some uh, writing some uh, um, what, what I'm saying, some lighting, some, uh, and yeah, and and yeah. My question is: it is it uh, is there are other plans to adopt KSMBD in high, in very uh, commonly used open source uh, product or or not open source product like? cellular phones, uh, I don't know, yeah. routers, anything that's out available commercially and, and started using KSMBD already? Yeah, mo most, mo mostly embedded device open source project uh, uh, adopted KSMB instead of Samba. So yes. there, there is uh, uh, OpenWRT and DDWRT open source project, and there is a pre box pre box product in France, France is the, it seems the setup box. Yeah. So pre box, pre box product is also adopted KSMD instead of Samba. So, and so I, I6 camera product is product company is also use uh, KSMD. Yeah. Network camera product. So okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Namjay, you mentioned you changed to the ASN one generic code. What do you use ASN one for? Uh yeah. Uh, so, uh, uh there is a ASN one decoder generic ASN one decoder library in Linux kernel. But SIPS, SIPS, SIPS client and SIPS D uh, use uh, have have own ASA one decoder. So actually, SIPS D SIPS D ASA one decoder is is a, a copy from SIPS client. So right, but what what do you use it for? What 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 uh, what functions do you um, do you need ASA one decoding for? Yes, as a, 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 a span angle a token is is a, is a, uh, for de to decode the span angle token. Yeah. Oh, span angle tokens. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. just the authentication. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, I have one question. Um, something that comes up in enterprise uh, environments very often is interoperable locking with NFS and, and leases in cooperation with NFS. Now that you're in the kernel, um, are there any plans to, to work on this with the kernel NFS guys and get something like leases and delegations and, and share reservations and op logs and, um, and so on, right? Yeah, so actually, so I don't have, I don't have a plan to, to work on uh, KSMD and FSD intro, intro all, but uh, Amir, Amir is so lays the, these, these issues on mailing list. So I, 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 I am aware that it is uh, very important to, to work very important issue. So, so I think that, uh, as he said, is KSMD is, is, is in a position to do better job. So, because uh, as you know, KSMD, uh, KSMD is kernel module and can change the uh, uh, VFS and NFS and KSMD is, is, is the same time. So, so I think that yes, I think that we can we can we can make uh, we can make some the more better work through uh, KSMD and NFSD. Yeah, one thing I would hope for is um, once you finalize the semantics of all these things, what to do when cross protocol lock conflicts happen. Um, my hope would be that user space Samba can eventually access that then and via some some API or something. Uh, uh, I mean, you mean, you, you, you mean KSMD uh, uh, is uh, the helper is for Samba? No, no, what I mean is um, when, dis when discussing with NFS people, um, the problem is always that SMB, pe SMB people don't yeah. know enough about S uh, NFS and vice versa. So, yeah. and, and the semantics are slightly different in places. And for me, it's um, always difficult to even really define error messages that yeah. come back when, when conflicts happen. And mm -hmm. so if, if the kernel can get the act together and define that finally. This would just be great that we have a definition of cross protocol locking semantics that we can then implement somewhere else, maybe between SMB and Ganesha or uh, Samba and Ganesha. And at a later point, then maybe define APIs for the kernel so that a user space um, NFS server can talk to you and Samba can talk to the kernel NFS server and so on. Mm. I don't know if it's possible, but it would be a, it, it is something that comes up in very many discussions with enterprise uh, vendors for file systems. Yeah, yeah. so I, 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 I agree. It is a very big, big and huge, huge wall. Yeah, so actually, but uh, when I, Yes, but actually, I, I, I didn't read or or discussion no, this discussion thread. But uh, yeah, yes, actually, I don't know. <laughs>